Hello everyone, this is Warish, and today I will be showing you my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. I'm going to start off by showing you my four most valuable cards. The Winged Dragon of Raw from the Dawn of Destiny uh, video game for the Xbox, I believe it was. Uh, this is one of the promo cards that you get in it. Uh, you can't tell because it's in the sleeve, but it is the one with the yellow back. So you can't use this in the duel. And this card goes for around $80. Uh, like any of the prices I put on my videos, I put the average. So it is possible to get it for less or a little more. And just depends how your luck is. Exodia, the Forbidden One from the Dark Duel Stories for the Game Boy Color, I believe it was. And this card goes for around $70. The next card is Dark Magician, which is also from the Dark Duel Stories. And this card goes for around $170. And now for my most valuable card, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, also from the Dark Duel Stories, which goes for around $300. I never actually use any of these cards in playing with them, like an actual game. I just put them in their sleeves, and then I bought the little cases, and I put them in there. Uh, these new two cases right here are more newer. So I might end up buying two more cases like this for, for these two cards as well. So they're actually in very good condition since I never used them. Now for the boxes themselves, uh, I did have a folder before when I first started collecting. But the cards kind of wanted to fall out from the top. So I ended up buying, a, buying these little boxes and putting them in there. And then uh, just recently is when I bought this one. And I've been putting my cards away in this. Um, and then, so these were empty. And as I've opened the packs and everything for these videos, I put them away in these little boxes and try to sort them out until I can put them into the main box right here. And I'll show you right now on the little box. Okay, there it is. And right here, so it's kind of sorted, uh, not completely sorted. Uh, this is a uh, cross souls, I believe it is. Yeah. So these are the hollows, and then common cards, and then this is another one. This is a uh, I think the legendary collect no, the legendary duelist, uh, the joy one. And then, and then the legendary collection three, uh, the Yugi's world, I believe it is. So that's all the, the hollows and then the commons. And then I believe the Kaiba pack, the Duelist pack Kaiba, Duelist pack Yugi, and then oh, the Legendary Collection 5, which is a 5Ds. So that's, that's what's in these little boxes right now. going to move all the little boxes out out of the way so I can show you what's in my main box right here uh, so give me a minute okay so this is what's inside the, the main box that I have um, I kind of have it sorted out uh, from right here uh, these two rows I guess two and a half is from the main sets the so Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, Barrel Servant and so forth and so forth until right here which is the Megaton 2014 which is all these purple ones and then I just have kind of like dividers you see it called the Duelist so these green ones are all called the Duelist cards then this box right here that I have this uh, cube is um, promo cards 
from different things from collector stands and stuff like that. Uh, I just put that there so I can hold the cards and they don't fall out of place. Then these are all uh, starter decks and structure decks as well as these right here. So main card sets, the Megaton, and then the starter decks and structure decks. Uh, I'm not going to show you every little card I have, but I will try to show you a bit of everything. Uh, so for the, the blue eyes, see the blue eyes right dragon. And most of these are from the, when I originally started collecting. Uh, there's a few of them from the legendary collection. One from those, uh, the newer packs. So I am trying to get uh, basically a play set of all the cards and then putting them in their sleeves. Of course the Hollows and rares and everything are harder to get. Place it up. And now for the metal raiders. Uh, so I am trying to keep them uh, with the numbers. So this is 002, 002, 003, and so forth and so forth. So I am trying to organize them as best as I can. And also, as you can see, hopefully I can. We can see that this is the Harpies Ladies before censored. Uh, I have two of them. And then you can see the difference. This is one of the, I guess, newer ones or the reprints. You can see that right there. So you can see the differences. Yeah, so just like the Legend of Blue Eyes, most of these are from the original Metal Raiders that I did get. And there's only a few of them from the reprinted version. And I'm just going through them fast because I don't want this video to be very long. I hope it doesn't end up being too very long. Now for the spell ruler, magic ruler. And also most of these are from magic ruler. As you can see, MLR. Axe of Despair. That was a really good card before. Spellbinding Circle. Milo, uh, play set. Mystical Space Typhoon, Painful Choice, the Feral Servant, and Jinzo, Secret Rare. Dust Tornado. Play set. The 
LOD, uh, Legacy of Darkness, I believe it is. Dark Ruler Hadas. And there's all the cards from the from the set. Uh, I am thinking of getting a binder, but um, I've been looking online. Uh, so I might end up buying one and putting my hauls and everything in there. And just leaving the comments and rares and stuff in this box. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to show you every little card. But uh, this is... Pharaonic Guardian then uh, Magician's Force Dark Crisis Regional Chaos uh, Ancient Sanctuary uh, Soul of the Duelist I believe it is um, then uh, Rise of Destiny so uh, but after that is Kind of when I stopped collecting and playing a little. Well, I stopped collecting. I kept playing. So for about the first two, three years or so, I did collect and play. But uh, then the little card shop, hobby shop that I went to where I bought my cards uh, closed down. So I kind of stopped collecting. Uh, it's not until like recently, like maybe two or three years ago when I started collecting again. And that's why I only have a little bit of the some of the older cards not too old so i have cross souls here uh breakers of shadow shining victories uh the the movie pack the what is it dark dark side of dimensions the dark illusion the dragons unleashed and so forth and then most of the newer cards, the Maximum Crisis right here, Pendulum Magician, the Battles of Legend, and the uh, Code of the Duelist. Uh, I didn't, I haven't put the Extreme Force or the Circuit Break or the Dark Saviors uh, sorted here yet. Yeah, I'm still working on that. Uh, I do want to show you the, the promo cards that I got. Uh, these are not all the promos that I have. I do have others, but I want to get more sleeves of these, but I have, I'm having a hard time finding any. Uh, so if anybody knows where to buy some, like a site or whatever, uh, it's an Ultra Pro uh, card sleeve, and it's like gold. Um, I know there is a Ultra Pro gold sleeve, but it's a different gold than this gold that I have right here. Uh, this is one of the first sleeves that I ever bought. So I think it's a lot harder. I've been looking online, but I can't find it. Uh, anyways, so I have the the three Egyptian God cards from the Legendary One collection. This is the first ones that I got, and these are other promo cards as well. And this is from the Legendary Collection Yugi. As you can see, and then the Legendary Collection for the Joey's World. And all the sheet tokens. And then some uh, collector's tins cards as well as some other cards from like other video game card set promos. Dark Sage, Widespread Ruin, and then from the Kaiba collection box and the Yugi collection box and another one from tins and legendary collections. And uh, Cosmo Queen from the McDonald's promo cards, which I believe I traded this from a friend, so it's a little bit uh, kind of messed up right there if you can see it in the camera. And then I believe these are from the Tournament Pack 2. Yeah, so like I said, I do have other promo cards, just not in sleeves, so I'm looking to try to get more sleeves of these. If not, I'll probably just end up buying some other kind of sleeves that I have, that I can get a bunch of. And I really just have it here so it can keep the cards from moving too much. Um, I'll show you some of the 
or the decks and structure decks that I do have. And here's the starter deck Yugi. No, the original. Uh, I don't have a whole playset of all of them. I really should. But I kind of lost some of them. That's fine. Uh, some of them I do have a playset, like the Dark Magician, I do have a playset of. But others, like the Gaia, I don't have. Some of them I have two of them. And some of them are in better condition than the others because I did use some of these cards in my decks when I played before. Well, when I played more often. So that's why some of them are a little, a little damaged. And then the start of the Kaiba, same thing with the Yugi. I really should have a whole playset of everything, but some of them I am missing. And just like the Yugi, some of the cards are more worn down because I did use them in the games and everything. I used them to play with. Oh yeah, this is the start of the Kaiba, I mean the start of the Yugi, start of the Kaiba, the Pegasus, Joey, start of the Yugi Evolved, uh, start of the Kaiba Evolved, uh, I have a green one here, uh, I don't have all the cards, I think I misplaced them or I, have them. I haven't sorted it out yet, uh, this yellow one, let me check, the yellow one is the girl for the lightning, uh, SD5, I forget which one, what it's called, it's like Warrior or something. Dark Eradicator, Warlock, uh, SD6, uh, it's like, uh, Spellcaster Command or something, I forget which one it's called. But that's what these are, all the starter decks. And then right here I also have... I also have Yugi's Legendary Decks. Uh, this is the A, which is the, the Duelist Kingdom, uh, I guess, deck. Exodia's pieces. Then the Battle City deck. I believe that's what it's called. That one's cool. I'm glad they re they actually printed that card. And then the third deck that comes within the Magician of Black Chaos. My favorite card. Dark Paladin, it's awesome. So this is the Yugi's Legendary Dex, which is the first uh, little golden box that you can get. I also have, of course, the Legendary Dex too. So this is the Yugi's, Kaiba's, Joey's, and then just some of the other newer decks that have come out recently. Uh, this is the the starter deck for the link summoning. I haven't put the, the structure deck or the other two structures there, like the layer of darkness and stuff, because I still have to sort that out and put them in here. 
Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I wish I really did have a binder so you could see the cards a lot better as opposed to how I have it ha like this. I'm sorry that this took so long for me to record and everything, but uh, I was busy organizing everything. Uh, I still have a lot of work to do on that. I still have to put more cards and everything here. I also had to record in a different spot than I usually do and set up my camera and everything. So I hope this turns out okay. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Until next time, take care.